The lionfish is an invasive species in the Atlantic Ocean, devouring juvenile fish and threatening our ecosystem. With 18 venomous spines to defend itself, it has no natural predators. The Bermuda Lionfish Task Force was formed to combat the invasion and protect our marine environment. This episode will give you the basics on how to hunt lionfish. Welcome to Cooper's Island Nature Reserve in Bermuda. I'm here with a group of local divers that's going to give you the 101 on lionfish hunting. Let's go check it out. Tell me, what is the first thing you need to do in order to start lion fishing in Bermuda? Well, in Bermuda, the first thing you need to do is go to lionfish.bm, sign up for the curling permit. Um, and getting your curling permit, you'll get the simple basics of how to handle the fish safely and how to dive form. After that, get your permit tag. That'll be yours for today. And your flag. You normally want to fly the flag when you're on the beach, diving with a spear, so everybody along the beach knows that you're spear fishing for lionfish. After that, all you need is some great kit, and you want me to show you exactly what type of kit you need. Really, all you need to do some basic free diving is a good set of fins, a mask, and a snorkel. And, uh, you know, you can go hunting straight with that. That's a lot of gear. Yep, I'm on scuba, and scuba diving is also a great way to hunt lionfish. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, just want to point that down. It's a dangerous spear, and you could injure somebody, but it's the lionfish spear, and it's got the three prongs. It's called a paralyzer tip, and all of the spears come in different shapes and sizes, so you can disassemble some of them and assemble them back up. But the basics are it, it, it's got this elastic band that you'll stretch, you'll cock it, you'll aim, and then you'll shoot. But, but don't do that on land. <laughs> got it. So, on top of basic dive gear, your weight belt, and a barbed paralyzer tip, it's also recommended you carry a dive knife, a flashlight, and if you have one, a lionfish containment unit used to safely store captured lionfish. Be sure to keep the lionfish and its spines away from your hands and body. Some divers carry buoys with their flags flying so they are easy to spot. Trey advised me about dive safety. Even when diving with a group, you buddy up into pairs and split the equipment load between you. If you try and do too much on your own, you'll definitely get overloaded. I find it helps to develop a search image. So when you're in the, in the water, you're looking for the way a lionfish moves, you're looking for the outline. It is different from the other fish uh, in the ocean around Bermuda. And uh, once you begin to appreciate what you're looking for, you begin to see lionfish much faster uh, with experience. So work on that search image. Makes sense. All right, I think it's time to hit the water. Let's go. We're ready to hit the water. Let's gear up and head out. Now we get to the hard part, hunting lionfish. First things first, be patient. Searching reefs can take hours. Lionfish are nocturnal, so going at dusk or dawn improves your chances of seeing them in the open. You may find lionfish right out in the sand, hovering above the reef, or upside down in caves. You really have to search everywhere. When you do see them, take your time and don't rush. Approach them slowly and quietly and get your spear tip as close as you can before taking the shot. After you capture your lionfish, you'll want to hold it high out of the water, on your spear and away from fellow divers. Ideally, your dive buddy is nearby with the containment unit to safely store your lionfish. Otherwise, bring it to shore and safely remove the spines. Lionfish are edible and tasty, so be sure to watch our video on preparation and cooking. Thanks for watching and visit www.lionfish.bm for more.